Hello my friends and welcome to Steam Progress! Well guys, after the season uh, is ended, I want to show you what I got during this alliance battles. I think you'll see some important stuff. You could see there, we got the chemist, we got the mercenary. One of the units that are not as good, everyone says. I still like them, we're going to test them and uh, see what else uh, I did in this season. Because I didn't record any Steam Progress videos, I was focusing on uh, on the Alliance Battles. We got some points, quite happy with that. Let's uh, see what I got from this nice unit crate. Ah, wasn't that good. Anyway, 5 Valor, this is helpful because I'm going to... I was going, obviously, to to rank up our friend Flamer. I was waiting for that for so long because it's our main unit in the base now. Uh, the base did quite a great job during this alliance uh, season. I did lose quite a lot of times, more than I used to, and uh, well, way more, but um, I did get more, more attacks, which... Uh, I don't know if it's relevant for you guys, but for me, as many attacks as I get, uh, as better the situation is. Because obviously I'm going to get more, uh, if my base is winning, I'm going to get more points for the alliance, I'm going to get more rewards. And this is a progress account. This account has to progress. Because I want to show you everything in this game, because I want to show you how good everything is so we got here 101k munition this is one of the best things that could ever happen to you to, to someone because i was buying packs i was wasting my munition and here guys you can see uh we are going to break the record we are going to break the uh the cpu defend record i know it's not <laughs> you can't really call it uh, a record comparing with your records guys and uh, even with my record on the other account but uh, at the moment i'm really proud of that we're going to get 50 gold and everything and uh, that's that's amazing it is progress even more bear in mind this is a flamer base flamer bases are not good against uh, cpu defend waves and things like that i made it just uh, to show you a different type of base and i'm going to prepare for you guys something really 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 good i'm going to to before the next season starts which it will be i reckon in 11 days we are going to check that after uh i want to make one of the best bases that i ever made i'm on, i'm showing you now guys uh, we have some new hats i did uh, buy uh, the i think it's uh, something with boosts anyway I, I did got it by mistake to be honest with you, I wanted to buy some gold, uh, I had some spare money on uh, steam, leftovers and I said right I'm going to buy some gold and uh, instead of choosing the gold pack I chose this one, which gave me free hats that I didn't even know that uh, you can get them, because if I knew I would've get them, <laughs> look, at the, look at the ranger how cool it looks with that one, I mean Come on guys, we got some new colors as well, uh, some epic packs, so I'm going to save all of them for a massive pack opening when it will be relevant to open the packs, maybe if we get something new in the game or something like that. So bear in mind, loads of new videos are going to, uh, to come. I like the black one, I think it looks really, really nasty if you want this is i don't know I, I will i will just leave that so i have two more to use and i'm going to try they are not really brilliant hats to be honest with you but uh, at the moment we don't have anything else uh, better and they look cool i mean you have to attack with style look at this one on the chemist because we have the chemist now look how cool it looks i mean and well that's the color doesn't really change much it's just the eyes but this looks interesting it's it's something else so i'm going to keep it why not 
uh, we have the mercenaries which I'm going to add them um, the, the ski hat if you want um, they look cool as well I, I think they will be pretty 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 good so the main reason that uh, I'm making this video is now that we got the, the units I'm going to test them I'm going to try my best to test them so these are the packs that I was talking with you before oh 28 oh 28 cards let's recycle that and uh, see what we can get maybe maybe 2k munition really happy with that I am already preparing for the next season guys I'm doing the missions I'm doing uh, everything so I can get extra alliance uh, points I'm trying to save my uh, my cards as good as I can recycle the others I'm going to do a recycle spree uh, after this video because I don't want to waste my munition. I have so many plants and that's a gold poison resist. We should get something else because that's quite pointless. Oh, health. I'm really happy with uh, with recycling the rare cards because they are actually giving you perks. Really important to have perks. Perks are making the difference. And the gold uh, health, that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, I've been wasting all my munition this season and uh, was quite stressful. Bear in mind, I was at work every day and everything. So, um, what I want to do, I think I have 11 days. I'm going to try to prepare myself perfectly so when I get the time to play, after I make the videos, after I finish work, after I do all my jobs that I have to do, I want to play without any breaks for I don't know as long as I can get loads of points I actually I'm not sure about that Le let's recycle two legendary and one epic and then I'll tell you my story well my dream my, I don't know if it will happen I hope it will be quite interesting wave 34 go away so the base is kind of the same I did move some walls now and then nothing special uh, as I said I'm going to show you how uh, the base did so you see I, I'm still winning I'm getting loads of uh, dog tags when I am winning which is quite nice I did get some points as well I lost um, quite a few times but before with the other base no one was actually attacking me at all this was it was just I don't know two attacks a week and uh, that's uh, not good so let oh my god look my brother Bobo! Oh, I'm going to attack my brother. Let's see. Let's see who's winning. Oh, this is the bro fest. Uh, I'm going to add the mercenaries and the chemist with uh, in our troop, if you want troops in our. I don't know. I don't know what I want to say. Anyway, let's remove the ranger because uh, we have the mercenary, which is kind of the same unit. And I'm going to still uh, keep the flamer. Uh, let's rank up the mercenaries. I think it will be... No, actually, let's put just one perk on it at the moment. Uh, damage, no. I'm, I'm actually saving the damage for, uh, for the chemist. Because it would be quite cool to get some veterans there. But we are against our brother. It will be quite hard. Our brother, if... If you are watching this, join join our alliance. You have to be there. Come on, be with me in this. Oh, I, I I finally found someone. Uh, I'm joking. Um, so I'm going to add minimum wage because it will make them uh, cheaper, and I want to spawn as many as I can. Uh, let's put the damage perk on this. Uh, <laughs> this ugly unit now. It actually looks really cool. You can see the the gun that uh, the chemist have. It's actually the same thing with the mask with the eyes. Pretty awesome. I like that. So let's pick some cards. I'm going to take tactical, but call it kind of a fest. I'm going to try the units. I'm going to not only prove to myself that the mercenaries are good or not, just to everyone else. So we see how it goes. I know how the mercenaries are. I know. Uh, how bad they can be if you don't have the right perks and uh, by the right perks I mean ultra damage they have quite a low damage and 
as I always say, they used to be really good. They used to shoot constantly. It was amazing, amazing. Really good units. Everyone was actually using them. Everyone. It was, uh, it was a must. It was something like uh, using your riots <laughs> uh, or grunts. So the mercenaries were the best, uh, best of the best. And it's kind of sad to see them... Uh, Fading away if you want, no one is using them, everyone is saying they are the most useless <laughs> hero uh, Which they probably, which they are right probably, I don't know Anyway guys, so uh, Bobo's base, uh, my friend, I really like him already He's pretty good, he's pretty pretty good um, What I'm going to do here is, we, we this is a uh, this is the Bobo fight, so we we kind of want to win. So what I'm going to do is not risking it with the barrels there. So I'm going to spawn um, spawn our friends grants until that sniper tower is gone. I will show you the sniper tower um, and uh, the barrels. See that sniper tower. We are trying our best to get rid of that and uh, then bring all our units down. This base is having fully upgraded walls, which is quite worrying for me for the next alliance uh, battle season because this is a two white. So if the two white is having fully upgraded walls and uh, everything, I don't know what should I expect from alliance battles because um, those battles should be harder. Uh, we see how it goes anyway. This is fun. I finally found my brother. Where have you been? I hope he's watching this. Be cool to have more bobos in uh, <laughs> in the alliance. Yeah. Anyway, uh, sniper tower is gone. Let's wait for our grunts to quickly do their job, and by that I mean die. And uh, then we are going to do the trick. I think it is a pretty, a pretty good chance to miss the focus fire since we have only one and uh, not really amazing troops against walls besides the commander. But uh, I reckon we will not be able to spawn loads of commandos because of their spawning rate. Anyway, we see how it goes. It is quite risky now because my units are going to try to kill the mercenaries there, which means a long walk and I have to do that. I should have wait to be honest with you, that was quite uh, a big mistake. So I'm going to spawn some grunts now, use the rally flag, don't let the units go too far which I think they are already too far so they will not be really able to be there all of them so let's try to see how the units are doing against the walls it's not amazing as I expected well fully upgraded walls uh, mostly mercenaries no hero perk no um, damage ultra perk no hero perks obviously uh, Hard. I'm not really concerned because of the amount of uh, decoys and uh, tear gas that I have. We are against snipers quite uh, alright. So I'm going to put one decoy down. This is the decoy that you normally waste because uh, my units were already far away. So I'm going to put the tear gas and the thing that I don't like is because of the mercenaries, because the mercenaries are not having ultra a ultra good uh, damage perk, um, a ult not ultra a damage perk that is good. Uh, they don't really do much damage, and all my units are going to die. Right, uh, the brother fight is going in a wrong uh, way. I do have two commandos there again. I know I'm going to miss this, I just wanted to try, I wanted to, to bear in mind for next time at least, uh, because I don't really mind if I lose against my brother there, <laughs> uh, he deserves to win, <laughs> I'm joking, um, yeah, two focus fire, both of them missed completely, it's not cool, and uh, we don't have any snipers there, oh, we have two of them. 
two snipers, they, they would be actually enough to, to get rid of all my grunts. So let's see what's happening now if we are happy. Ah, no, we didn't. If we are lucky enough to, to get rid of uh, some some structures, we did just one. So we got some munition. Ah, uh, this is a hard one. Right, let's wait for that mortar to be done. Look, look how nice my uh, transport truck is shooting. Huh? I uh, I trained the the transport truck to shoot like that. Nice, nice. Huh? We're going to get some munition, so that will give us a chance to spawn uh, to spawn the grunt and see what we can do. Anyway. As much as I like my friend here, Bobo, my, my brother, I am not going to let him win. So I'm going to spawn the veterans, I'm spawning all of them, plus the grunt. So, we have the human shields, we have the riot. I intended to spawn another riot, but I spawned uh, uh, one chemist. That's alright, so I'm going to use all the specials. I know it's a waste, kind of, because of the free AAs. But that will give me a good chance and uh, again I'm really sorry my brother I had to do this uh, I had to win this I know normally I'm not using uh, veterans but in this case <sighs> uh, it's pride it's pride so whoo a victory is a victory next battle I think we should go and test only the mercenary and the chemist do like a fest and see what we can do Ooh, pretty nice oh yes finally finally the medal finally the medal for the grants Ooh, I've been waiting for that for quite a while so that medal would probably give us exactly what you can see 20 health more 20% pretty nice so my grants will be better now medals are important as well you have to do them now and then right let's let's leave this to load and uh, get ready for our first fest with two of the most useless units for uh, for attacking if you want if uh, you ask everyone <laughs> they would probably be the most uh, useless so oh my brother let's attack this place why not and uh, now this is pretty annoying because we have to remove all of them. I can add uh, the uh, the volunteer on one of them. I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is uh, rank up the the mercenary. To be honest with you, because I do have eight valor, and uh, I want to see. I want to see if uh, if. The mercenaries are going to fit in my team. I know for a fact the... What's their name? The chemists are not going to fit, so... Chemists are out of discussion. They are good defending, not attacking. Well, could be some bases there that uh, will actually... Uh, the chemists will be amazing against, but... Um, not that often, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to add it in your team, in my opinion. Well, if that's the only hero that you have, for example, that could be could be something. You, you can use it. So I'm going to add health. I don't have damage. It's not worth it to put a silver damage on them because it's pretty not good. So I'm going to wait a little bit until I get another damage. For now, let's test it like this. Let's go and get the last tactical boots. Quite sad. Uh, <laughs> I don't really like that. Anyway, um, we need a focus fire. The first test that I always do is uh, the unit against wolves. It is pretty important for me. Most of the fights, if you want to have a easy win, if you want to save some veterans to, well, to end up with some veterans, you have to to go through the walls, get in the base in a sneaky way as sneaky as you can and uh, yeah that, that's one of the most important things for me not always but sometimes you have to you could see the struggle against my brother because we didn't manage to get through the walls if we were 
it would have been 10 times easier so that's why on my alliance battles I normally use uh, two focus fires all the time in case I, I miss one I have the second one so yeah um, pretty straightforward I'm going to try the same tactic spawn as many units as we can go straight there try to get through the walls <laughs> After uh, the last battle, I don't really trust the mercenaries against the walls and um, anyway, we will have our answer now if it's worth it to add them in your team. They are pretty good against units, you can see, they, they are doing the job, they are shooting from far away, fair enough, uh, this is a plus, not many units are shooting uh, like that, with loads of bullets and everything, but the question is, are they good enough for the walls so we have quite a few of them i'm going to try to bring them close um i know it's not fair because we have just a few so for example the chemist will do nothing but they're not doing a bad job ish they're doing oh no mercy oh they let me down again <laughs> what's that about anyway we are going to try to get in uh, the same way that we did the last time only that now we have less units and uh, not perfect units against bases uh, this will be complicated even if we lose if we lose actually this is going to answer my question answer probably your question it's not worth it to use uh, to use mercenaries over rangers so what I'm going to do now is start using the decoys, I have 3 decoys, you see that's that's a, another problem that's uh, happening most of the times. They are going to shoot from really far away but they are not getting close enough to get uh, the units. For example if, as you could see there it was a sniper tower, they were all staying in the back there, I had to use my, uh, I had to use my decoys but they didn't come close enough. To, to get rid of the units, which is one of the most important things on a choke point like this. Just get rid of the units and then uh, the structures. So, this looks like we're going to lose. Another, another thing that we can do after this battle is try to replace them with their brother units. Chemists with flamer, mercenaries with rangers and go and attack again a base. Kind of similar to see which one of them are better so it's time to surrender I lost I don't like the fact that I lose uh, on uh, bases that I can actually win I wanted on this account to have a good winning streak this just uh, just destroyed my dream and I lost twice on the Alliance battles uh, twice or three times oh, anyway, anyway few times and uh, I didn't like that either from some small mistakes like not calculating uh, the focus fire in time not placing it in time or thinking that the rally flag will do some magic tricks which didn't happen so you can see we have damage perk on both of them this will be really helpful you'll see so Let's get focus fire, this time we don't have tactical boots, we, we used the last one, I don't want to spend my munition, I am preparing something special, so uh, what I'm going to do is use two focus fire, try to find a way in, hopefully it will be kind of the same base, it will probably be, uh, the two whites are really similar as, uh, as the setup, and uh, I think we can easily do this, let's see. Well, I, no, no, don't get me wrong, we are not able to do it easily, um, we can uh, do it better than, uh, than the other two troops. As expected, walls, let's see if the rangers are good enough to go through this uh, walls, probably not because I don't have a focus fi uh, uh, a rally flag to bring them close to each other. So, I'm going to try to get rid of the flamers they will be quite annoying you can see um, and 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 that's uh, not really good I'm going to spawn rangers rangers and uh, you see they, they intend to be better I don't like them against walls 
but uh, I wasn't impressed either from uh, the mercenaries against walls. They were actually quite bad, so... Uh, I think I would rather prefer to play with this setup than the other one. Anyway, uh, in my... Uh, in my... idea of... Uh, of progressing on this account, uh, it does involve the fact that I'm going to need all the, the, the heroes. So I'm pretty happy with the heroes that I got. As I said, probably I'm not going to use them. The sergeant that I got before, really useful. I use the sergeant and I'm going to use it. I think it's one of my favorite units. It is an important boost. So, uh, against walls, again, not good, but it's not a proper test. We didn't have a rally flag to bring all of them together. But the difference is, look how quick the structures are going down with those units. Probably or mainly because of the flamers. So, um, yeah, I would prefer for attacking flamers over chemists every day, anytime. And then, I again, it's just in my head that uh, the fact that I like the mercenaries, but uh, I think, I'm almost sure, the rangers are better. So, guys, if you have the rangers, use the rangers. Mercenaries, you, you can actually add the mercenaries to your team if you don't have anything good uh, to replace them. So, let's say you have the assaults in your team and suddenly you got the mercenaries and you don't have any other units to replace the assaults. Probably would be better to have, uh, to have the mercenaries. Again, Ultra Perk uh, minimum wage will help a lot, they'll be really cheap and uh, that's pretty good for some units like this. 21k munition, thank you very much, it's good for saving, I like it. And you can see the, the Rangers are getting rank 2 veteran way more easier. So let's check now guys, how many... How many days until the next season? And uh, yeah, if some of the guys in my alliance are watching this, as I said, I, I, I want to, to do a great job next, uh, next season. So guys, try to do the missions, get some extra alliance battles, prepare your cards and let's do this properly. Uh, PvP rewards and uh, they're not good. Right, 11 days missions. Let's see what other missions I have. Uh, yeah, pretty easy to do. I'm going to save as many extra alliance battles as I can. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you can, please share it with your friends. It does help, and I do really appreciate it. And, guys, as always, as always, don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn the notification on as well. Well guys, again, I'm going to say again, as always, thanks for watching and so long my friends.